stay down. Okay. It does look interesting, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like a ranger station. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die, where it's still episode three, but we're changing it up ever so slightly as we kind of have to start over because of a recording a technical error. Uh, long story short, there is no perfect software to record your games, and um, yeah, which one you use is uh, your personal choice, but we're going back to our tried and true one that we've used for a long time. Um, our change did not do us any favors. We're going to be calling this one Permadeath 1X because, I mean, you know, technically I didn't die, uh, but the frame rate and recording recording software did, so... <laughs> uh, for those of you that saw episode 3, the original episode 3, before I took it down, I apologize for the quality. This one will be better, and we're going to use just uh, Thranx's for the World Generation Seed. I think that's that's great. we got to start a, a new one, because that way I won't know where everything is. Got to be unknown, or else the challenge is minimal. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um... And we're back, back, back again. This time we... Oh, look! Another large building. Okay, well, good. So, we... I was worried. We, um... We had sort of a really interesting start uh, before, but that is going to be the case, especially, um... When you're playing a game like this, you... Unless you're playing for a very long series, which, I, I mean... You definitely can in early access, but that's not something uh, I plan on doing. I imagine I'm going to die <laughs> before the, we get too long. But, uh, yeah, you're going to start over a bunch, and kind of seeing the new random generation of maps is a big part of the fun for me. All right, let's get through these quests fairly quickly. Scrap you, drop you. You'll go here, you'll go here, you'll come off my bar, and then... Right bedroll craft. So we'll just kind of breeze through this uh, beginning part right away as we look a little bit at the surroundings here. I'm tempted kind of to go up to this mountain. I don't really want to wander too far. I wouldn't mind getting a high vantage point though. Alright, again. Bedroll's not super important, but, you know. We need to gather a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone and get our first tool. Humble beginnings. <clears throat> Always with the humble beginnings. Uh, but I do see a large building over there, so I'm, I'm fairly certain that is the... Um, Shamway like processing facility, and I don't think we're gonna go there right away. Got some glue, that's good. Couple of birds' nests, but it's probably indicative of a larger city, perhaps. Which which could be good. Uh, let's see. We just need to find a few stones. No, that's some nitrate. I guess we'll grab some cotton, and there we go. Small stone. We just need one more. Uh, these look like, yep, small stones. Boom. Got it. Stone X. There we go. Okay, now let's go make our plant fiber stuff and then maybe a couple more of these stones. Okay, well I don't really want to mess with any of that. We could get some of these chrysanthemums. Uh, we know I, I do. I'm a big fan of that red tea. All right, let's wear our clothing. Boom, boom. Right, so now we need some wood. All right. The big kicker is going to be where our trader is, um, because we're going to want to settle up relatively close to our trader. And so for that reason, I always try to get to the trader as quickly as possible. I'm sure that's fairly normal standard procedure. Wooden club. Yep, you just go right there, and then bow, and then arrow. We'll start with one of each. Alright, let's see if we can maybe get some... 
Get some more stones, maybe? I think we're going to stick with the strength build. We didn't really have a chance to uh, get into it much. Even the even the bit that I did um, that uh, that was lost to the ether with um, bad bad quality. Even the little bit that I did, I barely kind of scratched the surface of what the strength. What is this? Oh, it's coal. Of what the strength build really entails, and I'm I'm not I'm not over it yet. I've seen I've seen a little bit. Of how other builds play, and they definitely look fun and exciting with different little perks and bonuses. But yeah, we're gonna stick with the strength for now. All right, let's get some stone. Well, slow going with the stone. That's okay. All right, we'll just place down our campfire right here. Done. All right, hopefully our trader is... Yes, it's in that direction. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and um, repair this. Get ourselves a little stockpile of stone here. And then maybe chop down another tree. And then I think we're going to make haste. Try to be a little less awestruck at all of the surroundings and just try to get to the trader and then start looking for a POI right off the bat that we want to settle in on. I, I think the other one we picked was good in the in the uh, previous episodes, but it, it definitely had some good perks to it, but it also had a couple of, like, ugh, not so sure. All right, that's probably a good start. Maybe not. 50 stone. That's, that's probably okay. Probably. Let's... Go ahead and oh snap! Chicken already. Er, not some of those. Some of these, please. Okay, okay, okay. We can do it. I believe in us. Come on. Where are you at, Lord Chickadee? I see you. No, 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 don't run, don't run. Ugh, okay. Well, we, we need the early meat, and the feathers help too, and maybe we'll get enough bone for a bone knife, so let's try to make this chicken happen. Ah. It's in the tall grass. Maybe if I could just hop up here on this hill. Got it. Visual. Come on, just stop moving for a hot second, please. Okay, I think it stopped. Nope, maybe not. That is a flower on a bush. There it is. Come on. You're killing me with this grass. Oh, oh, oh. There it goes, there it goes. Yeah, let's go. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes. A little, a little low. Got it. Yes. Okay. Now we got some dinner, so that makes me feel good. Not enough bones for a bone knife, but we did get more feathers, and so... That's the thing we're going to go ahead and do. And we probably want some of this nitrate, to be honest. I don't know how much we're going to want early on, but you know what? I don't want to spend too much time gathering that. Let's let's actually press on. Uh, I think we'll just go ahead and repair this for now. And no, what am I saying? We want to, we want to spend our skills. Let's not forget what we're doing here. Uh, so it's going to be strength. We're going to take... Um, Pummel Pete, again, I definitely like the Sexual Trinosaurus, and then Minor 69er, and then I think, honestly, 
we just go with Master Chef. Uh, I recognize there's good ones in every tree, but we're going to try and stick with one tree as much as possible to get the most synergy out of a build. Again, it might not be the de facto best way of playing, but... Let's just call it kind of a, an experiment. I mean, we're, we're sort of... There we go, there we go. We're sort of playing this at a time where there's uh, still a lot of fluctuation, um, balances, tweaks that are happening. So we'll kind of see this like an open, open letter of experimentation about uh, how exactly it works if you just stick in one tree exclusively. And we might diversify and take some other ones, but I, I, don't, I don't think there'll be necessarily a hard need to. And if there is, then that'll be its own sort of critique that we just couldn't exist without it. Um, I think the biggest limiting factor, the biggest limb fact, is going to end up being the forge schematic. But I also think if we do our due diligence in looking for POIs that have a likelihood of containing books and schematics, we will find the ability to get a forge. And we can always work with the trader. in an attempt to get a forge schematic that way. Hello, it's our first contestant on Your Head is Thumped. Ooh, and some loot. Stone shovel times two? You shouldn't have. Can of pasta and some beer. Wow. Just, just coming right out the gate being generous as heck. I can accept these terms. Can of beer, that's... You know, that's a rare find during the uh, zombie apocalypse. Alright, so the trader is incredibly close here. We've got a couple of, like, husked out little apartment buildings and such. This looks like some kind of... Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is like a, a Shamway Foods warehouse. Okay, alright. Uh, husked out or not, the large buildings are a little intimidating. But this town seems to have a pretty significant um, amount of just rubbled buildings. Which I'm sure you could use some of them uh, as like a base of operations. But, um, oh, hello, sir. How, how are you today? Um, could I interest you in a club? <laughs> a club sandwich? You get one power attack upside your dome. Get the second one for free. Oh, the first one was free, too. What? Who am I kidding? There you go. Okay. I could have sworn you were dead. That... Did you fake me out? You are dead, right? Okay. <laughs> That's... That's going to haunt me. I don't know why, but that thing making that second scream and going ragdoll from the stun position and then getting up and charging me, that's going to make me not feel safe moving forward. Um, because now I'm like questioning everything I thought I knew about the um, how the zombies behave. Look at this house with its brick wall and iron fencing oh but look we've got like a fountain over here that's easy water i don't know if we have to set up where the water is this time though but here, let's just push through let's not belabor the point let's go find our trader and then no 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 see i don't necessarily want to go and start all of that just yet oh look at this trader area this looks a little bit different Oh, were you talking to me like that? Hard hat or not, you don't talk to me like that. Oh, no, 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 no. That's that's not how things go. I'm just going to watch it for a little bit longer. What is this? Scope times two mod schematic. I can accept those terms. That's not like the best, but any kind of early schematics probably pretty good. And remember, we found quite a few in the trash piles, so I think we just need to check trash piles and such. And look at that! It's not even noon and we're at the trader. 
Very good. Let's... Um, am I allowed to search all your stuff? I, I kind of am. Okay, well... And don't mind me, I'm just going to ransack your place a little bit. A little bit. Boy, that's some... that's some music. Peaceful. Tranquil. Just relax. Let the music take you to a faraway land where the zombie apocalypse is not happening. Just tune out for a little bit. <laughs> no. It is happening, and we have to stay vigilant. We can't afford to be relaxing. What is this? I am going to check up here, though. See? No. There's, there's nothing. Very little. Very little for us. Okay. Oh, look. It kind of... That's kind of interesting, I guess. Sure. Um, chemistry station? What do you have for us? Gunpowder! 23 gunpowder. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, for some reason it was it's putting the exclamation point down there, but the trader's over here. That's a little peculiar. Kind of misleading. You again? I'm starting to think you like Dr. Jen. Um, sure, but this is my first time being here, so I'm a little bit unsure of your sanity. <laughs> She's just like everybody. I've seen everybody once before. Like, yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Stun baton. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the intellect playthrough, I think. So we could get iron pickaxe. 3,400. Oh. Need my chassis. Wasteland treasures. Turret schematic, bow, crossbow parts, bar brawling, robotic parts, and that's it. So, kind of not, um, let's just schematic. Let's go to all and schematic. No. Mods and reading materials. Yeah, but if I go here, schematic, no. So... Robotic turret schematic. That's interesting. So yeah, I don't think we're going to deal with any of these yet, but I will look uh, at your ahead. jobs that you have. Fetch, fetch, clear zombies, clear zombies. All of these are far away. You know? I, Cemetery? I, yeah, um, if you could just go ahead and take a job. Yeah, I'm looking. What else I've you got? got a job. Funeral Did home? You know that I heard Funeral homes. I Sounds kind of neat. I would love to give you a job. Household modular oh, six. This is a dangerous one. Try not to um, get radiated. What? Oh, did we? Is that just like a canned response, or did we really pick one with a with a risk of radiation? <laughs> okay, we're a little encumbered, which I'm gonna be honest isn't good. This looks pretty interesting, but a large POI could be difficult to hold. Um. But again, we know virtually nothing about which POIs are good and which ones are not. I'd like something with a little bit of substance to it. But at the same time, a larger POI means you're going to have you're going to have more you have to secure and look out for, but you have kind of more fallback positions and escape routes, conceivably, if, if you do it right. Um, yeah, uh, I'd like that corn, please. Thank you much. A bit of duct tape. Quite all right by me. Starting to get pretty encumbered. I'm thinking probably gonna start scrapping some of this stuff, and then maybe putting some more stuff on our bar. Okay, so not as bad now. What the heck is that? It's like a lookout tower. Oh, really? I'm I'm intrigued. I, I'm intrigued. It's I know that height doesn't necessarily protect you, 
The zombies will overwhelm your supports and tear your structure down if need be, but it looks interesting. Stay down. Okay. It does look interesting, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like a ranger station. It reminds me of, like, the, um... The wilderness structure in, uh, in the... The Long Dark, near the lake. Um... <laughs> like Firewatch. Uh, okay, so it definitely has... It has me intrigued. It's got a little bit of intrigue going on. What is this, though? This is a water a water treatment plant. Oh, that's what's got the little the little water source here. Well, that could be a good water source. See, that's still not too far from the trader. Kind of on the edge of town, wide open area. I think this is where we want to go. Ugh, you startled me, little crawler. Okay. I'm I'm thinking this is going to be our home away from home. I I like this in a way. I feel like it gives us a handful of options, all of which are generally kind of good. Um let's not loot too much more before we have a chance to actually clear the area out so we're not crazy encumbered. Locked, okay. No, I don't necessarily want to aggro them through the fence. So there's pretty much always a way in or so. That's what I've heard. Yep, and here it is, right through the front door. Alright, let's... Hmm. Looking at the time, I'm thinking... I think we have enough time to clear it. Let's... Because we can always clear it, and then we can venture back out, but we might use up kind of all of our daylight in... Oh, okay. I'm a little concerned about... Guests just dropping by unannounced. Whether you're dressed well or not. Oh. No. Sir. <laughs> I don't know what you expect to accomplish. That that was literally going to be the long way around the building. Let's, let's not really loot any of it yet. So this stairwell is like, it leaves something to be desired. Like, how in the heck are you supposed to get up there without, like, construction? Like, you're going to have to construct your way up there. Oh, hello. Sit down. Stay down. Yeah, no, no, stay down, please. Oof. Ooh couple of neat little items here. Locked side door, that's fine. This would make a good place to, like... Well, there's a couple of different fallback options here, which I like. The problem is, if you go up, <laughs> you're trapped. So you can, you can keep all your stuff up there during the day, but... That's... So this, so this is gonna be sort of... Oh! Oh! Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even see that thing there. Okay, well, let's make a bone knife. I think that's step number one. That scared the heck out of me. At least we didn't take, like, a more serious injury. Wow. My concern is, aside from potentially more birds, the sections of this are going to be highly unstable. Can we crouch under this or no? So we can't. Um, get on the railing. But this satellite, I don't, 
I would love to take it apart like proper with a wrench um, rather than just smash it with a stone axe, but I don't think we have much of a choice if we want to move past this thing. It's just all in our way. That's okay. So first things first, we can head over here to the roof. That's kind of fun. Nope, nope. I would like you to relax. Okay, you know what? Oh, barbed wire! Where's this other zombie I heard? It's inside? Where did it... Did it walk right through the door? Okay, well, let's go around. Oof. Oh, you startled the heck out of me now. Come on. Come on. Stay down. We don't... Okay. All right. Let's go clean in house. I'm thinking I'm thinking we're going to need to work on like So, yeah, we can't really repair these. All we can do is reinforce them, which is interesting. We're a little bit of just dodging here and Parkour, please. Oh my gosh. I'm not worried about building everything yet. Because that's something we can absolutely do uh, at night while we're here. Right? Maybe this isn't the best place to hold up at. Ooh. Alright, so I think it's going to get a little squirrely up here. If I had to guess. And the truth is, we don't really have a lot of places to go. Running back down the steps is pretty treacherous. Could be people on the roof. People. They're not people. They're Zeds. Here we go, here we go. Nice, clean, sneak damage bonus. There we go. That's good. That's good. Best to soften them up whenever we can. We're just going to take it easy. Nice and slow. Okay, same thing. Very good. Yep, I see him up there. You're not surprising me, okay? Oh, I took an arrow to the knee once. There you go. Yeah, I see you guys. How's it going? Oof. Okay. There you go, there you go. Out of stamina, but we're down to one. Okay, so you just gotta think ahead a little bit. There you go. Okay, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. It got a little a little squirrely there. I was a little aggressive, maybe, and I shouldn't have been, but I think at this point this house is clear. Okay. Seems a bit like it. Let's, uh, yeah, my stone arrows. Oh, sure, I want my stone arrows back now. Come on. All right. Yeah. A nice, neat little... You know what? We'll leave that picture up. Medicine cabinet. Ooh, with a first aid kit, you don't say. Let's get, um... No, well, we want to keep this on us here. I 
think we'll we'll break up some of this stuff here eventually, but for now. Shotgun Messiah, sealed crate. Oh. oh. Yes. Scrap boots. Scrap that wooden club. Knuckle wraps. Not really going for the punching. And then we'll scrap this. Crossbow bolts I think we'll take. Blunderbuss ammo we will absolutely take. What is that? Is that coal? Oil shale. Mm. Well, with that... Oh, look at that. We got a, we got a skirt. Mmm... Not really a lot of protection. Oh, heat resistance. Um, honestly, I think we'll take the pink dye. And then just scrap this. Um, but looking at the time, that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. A bit of a different... Um, different run than the last one. But so far, uh, doing okay. Doing okay. And um, we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. I hope you had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Until next time, take care.